Hey hey all and welcome back to another episode of a Let's Play Richard 3 The Wild Hunt and we are continuing our story with uh, in trying to find Dandelion the boar bar blah, blah, blah. you know the guy the sings the does a coin to your witcher uh, yeah let's go and talk to the Elale Elehal Lihal I guess. Like Tell me where is really game. Mistaking me for someone else. You the only one is my first time. Leave him alone. <laughs> and who might you be? Temple guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, eh? You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't? This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies, and fare thee well. I, uh, gotta go brush my teeth. <laughs> Go home, merchant, and try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. Uh. Well, yeah. We saved the random mer merchant. He saved, so that's nice. And while we are here, let's go and put stuff into the stash. Uh, let's see, can I, can I sort by weight? Yeah, we're gonna sell those things. Uh -huh. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't have any weight. Is it this? No. What the hell is it so heavy that I have on me 69 stuff? Is it books? Well, books are zero. So it's not books. This may be quest items. Oh, no. These things. This is zero. I guess it's these things. Mm, yeah, 12. And we're gonna sell those stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go and talk to the beautiful lady. Two, six, six dwarves and a snow white. <laughs> Interesting place we have here. Uh, Hello, peasant. It's welcome, welcome. Uh, it's, it's the guy. I'm a friend yeah. of Dandelions, looking for Ellie Howe. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Ellie Howe? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. <laughs> oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? No. So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. 
I don't want to know the rest. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, <laughs> Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. When did you see that? Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or... Okay, now let's go talk to Vespula. Yeah. I don't really like. Uh, yeah, just a. Uh, yeah, let's go and talk to the nice guy. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. Yeah. Pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This spew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Well, let's put some. Yeah, this. Thank you. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just gotta soak it in white vinegar, but that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. <laughs> oh well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Yeah, don't probably. Know you remember, we've met. I don't. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, Strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and <laughs> threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen. Didn't miss anything. Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Interesting. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. 
His too, come to think of it. <laughs> an artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as the one in the same. An artist? Or a whore. Apparently Dandelion was seeing a Troberitz. A blonde, most likely. That's the one. Wait, what was that name? Calanetta. Sounds like an artist, a foreigner and a whore. Three in one. Woo, triple threat. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Okay. Let's see it with Zoltan. Okay, we are close by. Witch hunters. Really? How are you keeping Bobby? Monsieur Sultan, you old bum. What's this? Have you even drunk of water? Not even. I'll repeat. Save a cake. Eh, well, let's go talk to the Zoltan. Zoltan, my good friend, uh, let's see what you find out. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? If you want to start talking any day now. Hmm. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But you <laughs> have to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? You first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. You've not seen hide nor hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of dandelion's pickup lines. Dubious worth. <laughs> well, let's hear them. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, you know how he wooed a last studying natural history? Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Pass of Flora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. Made us stare for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. Human woman, but that would bore a door and last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this last? Blonde, from Kovir. Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. I must be her. Who's Priscilla? Who's Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting nice. image. So how Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. Dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh, yes. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works with a mummer's troupe. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? <laughs> this will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Looks like we are going to a poetry, poetry night. All right. What's it? Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, let's go and listen to that story.
Could be interesting. They're dead. That's so sad. Oh, chicken leg. Nice. Okay. Big. Begin. What are you serving? Serving anything? Eh. See. Oh. <coughs> Two days we're already dependent on the black hours. Economic. Yeah, let's go outside. Start soon. Ho, ho, ho.
I know not if fate would have us live as one, or if by love's blind chance we've been bound. The wish I whispered when it all began. Did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee my dream come the morning. Your scent, berry star, lilac sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy. That was um, it almost brought a tear to me. I know him. Uh, Do you really? think murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again, and I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know <laughs> Geralt, we risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save you say? He murdered folk. Really? Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. Okay, well, let's go with Priscilla. I wish to listen to music. Music. Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. <laughs> With you people in it. <laughs> it's impossible to be a cultural. Permits thing. me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Okay. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. Sure. <laughs> I wrote the paper he's laying to pass the floor at once. I made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait, left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. <laughs> Let me guess, attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. It seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. 
Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver Verest, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he Ooh. is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax, I'll get him out of this. I've got to talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs the bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. <laughs> I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. All right, then. Well, well, guys. Bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to feed. And then I suppose I'll wait. See if our warrior guys... doesn't come home in his own. Come on, shut up. Take care now. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye bye.